welcome viewers to another video of smart part shala now before i start the video and you get bored up so i want to throw a question to my audience that can you find the value of this function written in the board here at the point x is equal to 2 right now this is a challenge for every every mathematician who does not knows calculus now to know the answer of this we have to learn calculus and you have to watch our video full right okay now yeah let's start here suppose x is equal to 2 then we have f of x as 2 square minus 4 and 2 minus 2 surprisingly it is 0 by 0 which gives you an undefined thing right now the question is what chapter we are reading today you guys will describe what chapter we are reading ok now let's approach this problem right ok now we can see that this thing point at f of x at x is equal to 2 because it is in the form 0 if we plot the diagram of this function suppose this is and this one as x axis and you have this this if we plot this graph no this this function will be like this this will be f of x right so this on the y intercept you will have a coordinate of 0 2 right now suppose this is 0 2 right now suppose you have 2 over here and 1 here while 3 at here right now to obtain this the value of this f of x what you need to do you need to draw a vertical line right that the vertical line can be drawn like in this way parallel to y axis now this is undefined so here there will be no right now how can we achieve the value of this function at this point? We can see this is undefined. Now, let's try the approach. Right? Say, we are not finding the value of f of x at 2. Right? We are just finding the value of f of x just near the point 2 on the left hand side. Remember, on the left hand side. Suppose, here, we write the value of x and here we write the value of f of x right and suppose we have the value of 2 here and that is 0 by 0 which is undefined right suppose we have a value of 1.9 when you put the 1.9 over here you get a value of f of x as 3.9 right now come very close very very close that is 1.9 9, 9. So it's very close. Then we get a value of 3. Now, if we approach this function from the right hand side, which means you have a point 2.1, let's say. Then if you put the value of 2.1 over here, you'll get a value of 4.1. Again, if you put a value of 2.01, you will definitely get another value of 4.01. Now the point that we should notice is that as x is approaching towards the point 2 from the left hand side, from left, then what happens is that f of x is also approaching towards 4. You can see 3.999 from left, right? Now, also we can write that as x approaches towards 2 from right, then f of x is approaching towards 4. You can see from this chart, that see 2.1, so this point was here, lying here 2.1, suppose. And it was 2.01, which means here, then the value was nearly equal to 4 
and in this case also it is nearly equal to 4 right no they are not the exact equal value to 4 they are very very near to 4 my x is very very near to 4 right now in this scenario if now to translate this language no this language this language these two languages to translate these two languages we use a special signature that is lim that is the limit we read it that the limiting value of f of x and x tending towards t 2 right x tending towards 2 from where from left hand side or right hand side for denoting this if you write that x is tending towards 2 from left hand side then we should denote it by x tends to 2 minus which will give us 4 similarly limit of x tends to 2 plus is equal to 4 so this is the limiting value of f of x right now we will see the algorithm to calculate the right hand sorry the left hand as well as the right hand limit of a function f of x at a certain point x is equal to a now the first thing is that if you have if you are given certain function then first write the limit of f of x at x tends to a minus means the point is tending towards a from the left hand side then replace x by a minus h where you when suppose you are writing x is equal to a minus h right now when x is to tending towards a minus then suppose obviously h must tend towards 0 then replace this x tends to a minus by h tends to 0 and write f of x as f of a minus h then simply just simplify the value right again here also for calculating the right hand limit you have to follow the same algorithm only the thing is that you have to replace x here with a plus h right now the evaluation of algebraic limits there will be some algebraic functions like polynomial functions or any types of algebraic functions then we will use certain approach one is the direct substitution method and there is the factorization method including rationalization, standard limits and method of evaluation by algebraic limit at infinity now at this session we will look at two examples to calculate the limits right okay suppose there is a function given x minus 1 and where x is tending towards 1 right here you need to calculate this limit so first in some problems maybe you will be asked to find out if the limit of this function exists at certain point or not let's say for an example previously we were Remember, previously we were, we were having some function f of x at x square minus 4 by x minus 2 and we checked at x is equal to 2 point, right? There we are having limit at x is equal to 2 minus and f of x, that is equal to 4 and that is also is equal to limit of x tends to 2 plus f of x. Now, in these types of condition, our right hand limit means this one will be equal to the left hand limit then we can say that the limit of this function at this point x is equal to 2 really exists. Now, in this problem, on the whiteboard, this function, here the limit already exists. The question says that the limit already exists. The thing is that you have to find the value of this equation. Now, we will apply factorization method work here. We know this is, we can write this is as x cube minus 1 cube so just factorize it let's apply your formula yeah then push plug in the value of x over here 1 square plus 1 plus 1 and you will get a value of 3 hence this is the solution for the limiting value of this function when x is tending towards 1. Now, let's look at another problem. Suppose you are given with a problem limit x tends to 0 and you have 
root over of 2 plus x minus root 2 by x right ok now what you will do in this situation if you put directly x equal to 0 then you are getting 0 by 0 which is undefined now uh, another condition is that uh, you factorize it right like the previous problem but you can't factorize this one you can see now here we will apply this thing, this number 3 that is the rationalization process in the rationalization process what we do is that we rationalize it I mean you have root over here then multiply the conjugate of it so that you can get some value without roots x and that is equal to limit of x tends to 0 x 2 plus x minus of 2 right have limit oh sorry you need to multiply one term in the bottom also denominator otherwise it won't be balanced right now 2 plus x plus root 2 and that extending towards 0 you have 2 to cancel you have x here and x here right and you have this term right now Now let me rub it. Okay. Now, from this one, we have limit x tends to 0. Here, this x and this x can get cancelled because x is tending towards 0, but x is not is equal to 0. This condition is very much necessary for cancelling these two terms. Now here, I have 1 by root over of 2 plus x plus root 2. Perfect. Now, if I put, if I plug in the value of x over here, then I have root 2 plus 0 plus root 2, which means 1 by 2 root 2, and this is the solution of this given function. Right? So, after this, we come to the end of this video, and uh, I think you have got your answer of the question that I have asked in the starting of the video. Now, if you like the video, uh, please share and subscribe and uh, also uh, try to learn more with us uh, with the with our upcoming videos uh, so see you again